dying to kill. Alfred Zane was obsessed with true crime. He started reading about some of the most notorious serial killers and mass murderers in history. He spent countless days and nights studying crime scene photos and going over forensic science technique, as well as researching all of the greats, Ted Bundy, John Wayne Gacy, Albert Fish and Jeffrey Dahmer. He became so infatuated, he began to collect animal bones like Jeffrey Dahmer. He also began to acquire a taste for sticking needles in his groin like Albert Fish. He became a sexual deviant. He began watching extreme violent pornography to be infatuated like Ted Bundy. He made up his mind that he was going to be a serial killer. Since he had a clear idea of what he wanted to do, he began pondering with a name. He said, I am the A to Z killer. I will kill victims in alphabetical order, A to Z, until I get caught. He began grabbing a phone book and started looking for potential victims. He began looking through the A section of the phone book, looking for the closest prospect to his house. He took his finger and pointed to a name, Amber Retting, 322 North Pisco Street which is only a few blocks from where he lived. He quickly started to premeditate his every move and calculate what needed to be done to carry out his heinous act. He began to stalk her like a tiger, eager to pounce on his prey, watching her every movement, knowing her daily routines. He did this for two weeks, just to make sure. Grocery store then right home to unload. He knew the neighbors would be gone as well. This was his chance. She began to unload her groceries in her garage when she felt a sharp instrument to her throat and a deep voice. You scream and I'll gut you. Alfred said with a harsh whisper. Her only reply she could muster was, Now, why would I do that? With a quick jolt, she pulled a 9mm from her waist, turned and immediately fired three times into the chest and sternum of Alfred. Without warning, Alfred was down on the ground bleeding profusely, and breathing heavily. She began to laugh and sing and began to dance around Alfred in a circle. Without warning, she stopped in turn and said, out of all days, you decide to rob somebody, you pick a serial killer. She lifted the nine millimeter, walked slowly to Alfred and began to whisper under her breath unrecognizable words. She was about two inches away from Alfred's face when she pulled the trigger, and in a faint whisper, she said, Victim 62. 